ZK Sync era just went live on mainnet, guys, and there's another opportunity for a potential huge airdrop. There is no confirmation of an airdrop right now, but ZK Sync has already confirmed that they will have and launch a token. Of course, you know that they will possibly want to do an airdrop for the community right here. And before you use ZK Sync era, you would have to breach Ethereum, Ethereum mainnet uh, to ZK Sync era. It doesn't have to be Ethereum mainnet. It could be that you have your Ethereum on uh, a Bithroom, so you have a Bithroom earth uh, so all you have to do is move your funds from ethereum to zk sync era now you could do that in two ways you could breach from the um the, from the um, native zk sync bridge i'm going to make a video on how to use that one later or you could do this on, on obito finance which is what i'm using for this video right now so you can see so this is obito i'm going to leave a link in the description as i always do so once, once you visit obito you have to simply connect your wallet and then come on here you're going to see that this will be by default on v1 so i'll recommend you toggle this button and move it to v2 just to be using the, um, the latest version of Obita. So once you do that, you basically should have Ethereum in your uh, mainnet wallet, your Ethereum mainnet or whatever you want to send from. And for example, you put in the figures that you want to use. For example, you want to send 0.01 F to send it over to ZK Sync Era. Make sure you choose ZK Sync Era, not ZK Sync Light, guys. They are not exactly the same. So select ZK Sync Era right here, move your Ethereum. In case you want to move your Ethereum, uh, your F from uh, probably VMB chain or Arbitrum or any other chain you have it, you can simply switch the network right here. And once you do that, you will click on the send button and complete the transaction. It's as easy as that. But before you do that, make sure you have gone to chainlink uh, chainlist.org chainlist.org to add ZK. Once you get to chainlist, you simply search ZK in the search button right here and you will find um, uh, you will find the ZK mainnet. Uh, uh, ZK, uh, ZK Sync Era mainnet and add it to your MetaMask. The reason for this is because once you move your funds from Ethereum to ZK Sync, you would have to have added the uh, ZK Sync uh, Era mainnet to your MetaMask wallet before you see your funds, right? And so you need to add your ZK Sync Era mainnet to your MetaMask so that you could easily see your funds. So you don't get to look for your funds. And if eventually you want to bridge back, you can simply come back to Ubi to Finance, you know, click this button or just do it through this button here and search from GK Saint Era to Ethereum and do this. All right, this is how you're going to uh, interact with the bridge and not just the bridge. Okay, there are uh, a number of uh, platforms right now that are coming. I'm probably going to do a video on some of them, some um, some Dexys NFT protocols that you can use on ZK Sync right now to interact and stack up your transaction volumes right here. Actually, I'd like you to utilize because I'm going to be doing some of this. Utilize ZK Sync. I mean, it's an exciting platform, a scaling, scaling solution. So I recommend you actually utilize the platform, not just uh, so you can literally avoid you know civil attacks and just getting weeded off from getting any potential airdrop that zk sync will do in the future guys if you benefited from this video i want to hit like the like button hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for any of the videos that i'm gonna um share with you guys cheers and have a nice day